trust me when I say that if you go here and hang out for more than three minutes, you will drop 50 IQ points. Well, the comedy here will cause you to gain a few IQ points. We check out these Detroit bar reviews I found posted online. All right, let's head to the Motor City now for these funny Detroit bar reviews. Our first one, I'm a 57 year old five foot one and they sent a big biker dude to intimidate me. Great customer service. Terrible staff, unfriendly management. Nice view of White Lake though. They have white claws, that's all. After knocking back a few white claws, hey, the place might actually be good. Played country music, the bartender skipped every song I played and she said I'm gonna skip every country song. F Republican. Is Michigan a blue state? The best thing to order is a Pepto-Bismo at Walgreens before you come here. The generic brand, Pepto-Bismo, minus the L. This place is a health hazard if you expect to enjoy a long life. If you're ready for death, this is your dive. Downright horrible at worst, server was about as smart as Tommy Chong after taking a brick to the face. What, no pics? Come on, we want the visuals. The glass of wine I ordered was pretty much vinegar. It must have been opened years ago. I'm guessing it was left over from the last supper. Amen. The dumpsters are cleaner than the bathrooms, and the former actually has doors, unlike the latter. I can keep going. This place is a dystopian nightmare hellscape made brick and mortar. Just don't go. Seriously. Five Yelp points for the dumpsters. This place was terrible. They served me raw ribs twice. After sending it back a second time in fear of salmonella, the manager Calvin didn't even care or try to fix the situation. His response was, what do you want me to do, cook them myself? There were two long black hairs in my wings. Egads, how does this place stay in business? Egads, there's a word you don't hear anymore. Pizza was as soggy as a swamp in Mississippi. A bar known for lousy karaoke, slutty waitstaff, watered down drinks, and overpriced food. I caught the clap from one of their barmaids. That gives new meaning to a to-go order. I said last call, so that means 15 minutes, unless you want it to be five. Would not recommend close to a two hour wait for food that was ranging from inedible to mediocre and overpriced. To summarize my review, as God once put it, Noah get the ark, we are starting again. If you have about six hours of free time, you might be able to get your drink order. This is by far one of the worst. The menu literally has nothing with a side of air. Priced ridiculously high with fancy names, shitty managers, and shitty menus. Post and server were cool. No bathroom tonight. Where to service at? Aside from the constant smell of gravy, this was the worst service ever. If you really love vinegar, you'll love everything here, even the smell. And finally, ironic that the TV over the bar was playing Bar Rescue. Maybe time to call in John Taffer for their own place. And there you go, those are real bad but funny Detroit bar reviews. I do not want John Taffer coming in here rating my web show, but hey, these are real places. You can find them online. They're all on Yelp. You know, I find the funny bar reviews or other crazy reviews they post online and share them with you just to get a laugh. I purposely don't share the name, though, because I don't want sued, A, or I'm not trying to get anybody in trouble. It's just having fun here in the big YouTube channel. But you can go ahead, look them up. They're all real. And if you want more fun or other more bar reviews, just click that like, subscribe button down below for all the fun here on the Jersey Joe 50 YouTube channel. I appreciate the laughs and hanging out with you each and every week. Jersey Joe and your friend here saying thanks for watching. I hope you're dining in bar experience is a lot better than these guys and I'll see you next time I hope.